Hello. Today we'll be going over the bronze level question from the USACO 2020 January contest. It'll be problem two, photo shoot. You can go ahead and read the description here. All right. Okay, so to summarize these, uh, or what's going on here is that you're given N cows, or Farmer John has N cows, and it is supposed to go from 1A to, uh, what, well, yeah, A sub 1 to A sub N. There's a sequence that each of the cows are supposed to go in. However, um, that sequence is something that you have to reconstruct from another sequence, B1 to B sub N, using this equation. So this equation satisfies for all B1 to BN, uh, B N minus 1. We'll reduce down to here. The goal of this is to get the laxologically minimum, which is just to say, if there is a, if there are two, say, if there are two solutions to the problem or multiple solutions to the problem, then choose the one that has the lowest numbers first. So, take for example three. So let's say there was only one, which is b one equals three. There are two solutions to this. One is a uh, a one equals one and a two equals two. And the other is a1 equals 2 and a1, uh, a2 equals 1. Uh, in, that, in such cases, what you'll have to do is choose the uh, a, uh, a1 equals 1 and a2 equals 2 because that is considered less logically minimum, meaning that since uh, 1 comes before 2, uh, 1 is the minimum value there. Okay. Uh, for the input, you'll be given a single integer n as the first line as follows. That will be consistent of n, so how big the sequence is. And the second line contains n minus 1 integers sp uh, sp separated by spaces for b1, b2, all the way till bn minus 1. Using those numbers, you will have to reconstruct the a sequence and output that to the file. Okay, let's get started then. So Here's the, some of the functions that we'll be using for the solution. Um, there is the read and write file that is um, obvious for like reading in the reading in the inputs from photo.in, and then writing the answer to photo.out. And then our solution will go into this function called the, the solution function. And then towards the bottom, I have it written so that uh, it all functions and then it changes. So first it reads the file, plus passes the information to the solution, and then passes that to the write file. One way you can read the file is using a with statement. So you can start with open. And what this is saying is I'm going to open a file using the file name. I'm going to read that in. And then I'm assigning the value f for file to this open file. And anything that goes within this statement will be uh, dealing with the file. And then anything outside that statement will automatically close that file. So when I return, I will not need to do any closing of the file. So what I want is to return an n, which is our the number of cows there are, and a b list, which is our sequence that contains all the b from bi to, yeah, so bi to bi uh, n minus 1. Uh, b1 to b minus 1. Okay, so to do n, I'm going to do f dot read line. Uh, this will give it to a string, so I want that to be an int since that is a number, so I will convert that to an int. And then our b list, that will equal, um, so it's going to be a list of each of these numbers, so separated by spaces. So to make them into a list, I, I'll do a list comprehension. So I'll do for int or yeah, for uh, let's say b in f dot lead line, and then I want to split them out uh, along the space. So dot split. And then uh, I could use b right here, but since each of those are a number, I can go ahead and convert that in here 
to an int. So that should give me the n and the b list, and then that will pass into the solutions down here. Uh, let's work also next work on the write file. So the write file is going to be much simpler. I'm going to use the same semantics of the width. So width open file name, comma. Since I'm writing, I'll do w to override the write file. And then as. And then I'm going to do f.write. The answer. Ah, sorry. Oh, no, no. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm right. So the answer. And yeah, and, and then everything is good. So we'll have to format the answer before we pass it into uh, write file. Okay. So for our solution, we'll be going ahead and doing a brute force solution to this problem. Um, in most cases, for bronze level questions, uh, try attempting a brute force. If, there, if you can't figure out a solution, just do a brute force solution. Um, many times it'll actually work out fine, especially in the uh, bronze level questions. So for a brute, a brute force solution, what we want to do is go through every single number in, well, every, uh, so we're going to have a for loop and another for loop dedicated to going through every single uh, and uh, so every single uh, potential solution from 1 to n. Uh, first, we want to unpack the n and b list from args. Next, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a answer list here. That'll be my answer. I'm also going to have a used, which is going to be an empty set. Uh, we'll see uh, used later on when we um, start working on the actual part of the loop. Um, suffice it to say, the, the main use for used is going to be to make sure we don't have copies um, in the list. So if you recall from the solution, uh, every single solution has to be unique. Or every single A is unique, since every number is uh, a permutation. So. The first for loop is I'm going to take a number in the range of 1, since that's where we start, to n, which is our ending point, or, well, just before our ending point. So if we can't get to n, then we're just going to exit. Then what we're going to do is um, first append our answer uh, to our answer the number, since that is the first number that goes in the sequence, so that can be seen here. When we start with it, we want to immediately place in 3. And then from there, uh, oh, uh, one other thing is we have to add to the use, so used dot add. That way we can keep track of whether or not there are copies available or copies uh, inside the list. The next thing we're going to do is go through the uh, B list. So for B in the list. And so the new number that we're going to get is in fact B minus num. So why is that? If we look back here, uh, the equation that we should satisfy is bi equals bi plus uh, yeah, so uh, bi sub b sub i equals a sub i plus a sub i plus one. To get a sub i plus one, you just have to subtract a uh, a sub i from here and a sub i from here, and you get uh, b sub i minus a sub i equals a sub i plus one. Uh, then we are going to do our check. So this is where we need to have this used. So we need to make sure num is not in used. So it, it actually, it might be better to check if it is. So if the number is in used, then we know a solution can't be made, and so we're going to break. 
Uh, there are other parts to this, so we can also add if the number is below zero, or uh, yeah, or below or equal to zero, then that's also going to be an issue. And we also need to make sure if it's not too far above, so we need to make sure it's not above n. So if it reaches any of these three cases, we're going to break. And later on, I'll, we'll go ahead and like erase the solution and try again. Uh, otherwise, what we can do is, since uh, you can either add an else here statement or it, it doesn't really matter since the break automatically catches that from the loop. But if we want to add something here, then what we're going to do is... So what we're going to do is append the answer. or append the number to our answer. And then do the same thing for use. So use dot add. And then once we're finished with the B list, what we want to check for is whether or not we've actually solved the problem. And the way we're going to do that is by checking if our uh, if the length of our answer is equal to n, then we know that we are fine and we can just go ahead and uh, immediately break out of the solution. Now if we can't find that solution, uh, solution then we're going to erase our answer, so this answer dot clear, and we're going to do the same thing for used, used dot clear. And then our final step will be to, uh, well, uh, maybe deciding on like what this is doing. So the first step is telling the answer that, um, uh, how do we know that we guarantee, say, a the number that we've gotten is the lexicologically minimum value? Well, since we're going in order from 1 to n, if we find a solution first, then that, that's um, guaranteed to be the low solution, since if there's a solution above us, then it won't be caught, and if there's a solution below us, then that would have already been caught. So the next thing we're going to do after that is return our answer. So that will do that. Uh, oh, one more thing. Um, so our answer currently is a list, so uh, let me just print it out. So if I were to run this, Oh, okay, yeah, that, that's just an error down here, since it has to be in string, not a list. Um, sorry. Ah, okay, there we go. So the, yeah, the issue is we need to make that into a string, so to do that, um, we're in fact going to do it inside this, uh, when we're, you know, finishing the answer. So we're going to set answer equal to... So the way they format it is they need a space in between every single number. So we're going to add a string for space dot join. And then inside here we need an iterable. So you could do it with a list comprehension, but you can also just do directly for uh, a in answer. Just give back a. Uh, but uh, join only works on strings, so since a is an int, you have to convert that back to a string. Now if I run this, uh, okay, uh, let me check photo.out, and then that's 31524, same solution they get here, 31524. So this is the, uh, this solution is O of n because you're doing two different uh, loop iterations. So one iteration here for going from one through n, and the second iteration right here going from b, uh, going through every single b value. Um, there are ways you could optimize it, um, but since uh, if, you, if you had, like if you're running out of time on the USACO bronze level problems, it would be best to like keep the solution here 
and run through like other solutions, uh, work through other solutions. If you have time, you can try optimizing this for um, lower run times. Okay, so this is the solution for this problem. Thank you for watching.